What if I told you that humans weren't always the way we are today? Long ago, our ancestors had fur, climbed trees, and even had tails. The journey to becoming human was not simple. It was full of surprises, struggles, and big changes over millions of years. How did we go from small, animal-like creatures to the most intelligent beings on Earth? What shaped us? What secrets are still buried in our past? To find out, we must travel far back in time, before history, before humans, to the very beginning of our story. Let's go 500 million years into the past. The Earth was a strange place. There were no trees, no birds, no mammals, and certainly no humans. All life was in the water. The ocean was filled with bizarre creatures, many of which looked nothing like animals we see today. One of these creatures was Tiktaalik. It looked like a fish, but it had something special. Fins with bones inside, like arms. It also had lungs, which meant it could breathe air for short periods. Over time, some of Tiktaalik's descendants began spending more time on land. Their fins turned into legs and they became the first amphibians, animals that could live both in water and on land. Millions of years passed, and amphibians gave rise to reptiles. Some of these reptiles became dinosaurs, while others stayed small and developed fur. These furry creatures were the first mammals. They were small, fast, and lived in trees. They had big eyes for seeing in the dark, flexible hands for grabbing food, and larger brains than reptiles. Then, about 65 million years ago, a huge asteroid crashed into Earth. The impact was devastating. The dinosaurs, the rulers of the Earth, were wiped out. But some small mammals survived. Without dinosaurs around, they were free to evolve and take over the land. Some of these mammals eventually became primates, the group of animals that includes monkeys, apes, and humans, these early primates had grasping hands, forward-facing eyes, and sharp minds, traits that would later help humans evolve. Now, let's fast forward to 25 million years ago. The world was covered in thick forests, and primates were thriving. Some of them evolved into great apes, large, intelligent social animals. These apes, were strong and had large brains. Over time, they evolved into different species. Orangutans stayed in the trees of Southeast Asia. Gorillas became powerful plant eaters in Africa. Chimpanzees and bonobos stayed in the forests, living in social groups. But about six to seven million years ago, one group of apes took a different path. They started walking on two legs. At first, they probably did this to see over tall grass, carry food, or use their hands for tools. But over time, their bodies change and to make walking easier. This was one of the biggest changes in evolution. Walking on two legs freed their hands. Now they could carry things, hold weapons, and create tools. This set them apart from other apes. The first known human ancestor to walk on two legs was Sahelanthropus chidensis, who lived about six million years ago. This species still looked very ape-like, but had a flatter face and small changes in the spine and legs that helped it walk upright. Then came Australopithecus afarensis, which lived about 3.2 million years ago. The most famous fossil of this species is Lucy, discovered in Ethiopia. Lucy was short, only about 3.5 feet tall, but she had a big change. She walked upright. With walking mastered, early humans started developing something new. Bigger brains. Homo habilis, which lived about 2.4 million years ago, was one of the first human ancestors to make stone tools. This earned it the nickname Handy Man. These tools allowed them to cut meat, break bones, and survive better. Then came Homo erectus, appearing about 1.9 million years ago. This species was taller, stronger, and smarter than its ancestors. It was the first human species to leave Africa, spreading into Asia and Europe. 
It was also the first to control fire. Fire changed everything. It helped them cook food, stay warm, and protect themselves from predators. By 400,000 years ago, another human species appeared, the Neanderthals. They were strong, skilled hunters and had big brains. They made advanced tools, wore clothes, and even buried their dead. But around 300,000 years ago, a new species appeared, Homo sapiens. This species, our species, would change the world. Unlike earlier humans, Homo sapiens had something special. They could think creatively and communicate complex ideas. This gave them an advantage over other human species. Around 60,000 years ago, they started moving out of Africa, spreading across the world. As they traveled, they met Neanderthals in Europe and Denisovans in Asia. At first, there was competition. But later, these groups interacted and even had children together. Today, scientists have found that many people still carry small amounts of Neanderthal DNA. By 40,000 years ago, the Neanderthals had disappeared. Scientists are still unsure why. Maybe Homo sapiens took their resources. Maybe the climate changed. Or maybe they simply died out over time. But one thing is clear. Homo sapiens were now the only surviving human species. For millions of years, humans lived as hunters and gatherers. They moved from place to place, searching for food. But around 10,000 years ago, something changed. They discovered farming. Farming changed everything. Instead of searching for food, humans grew crops and raised animals. This allowed them to settle in one place, and small villages grew into towns and cities. With food supplies secure, humans had time for art, writing, and inventions. Soon, great civilizations appeared. Mesopotamia, Egypt, China, and India. These societies built pyramids, ships, and roads. They created governments, religions, and languages. Humans were no longer just surviving. They were building the future. But evolution is not just about progress. It is also about survival. Humans faced many dangers like ice ages, volcanic eruptions, and deadly diseases. Around 74,000 years ago, a supervolcano erupted in Indonesia, and some scientists believe it almost wiped out early humans. Only a small group survived, and they became the ancestors of modern humans. Humans also had to adapt to different environments. In hot places, people developed darker skin to protect against the sun. In cold places, people developed lighter skin to absorb more vitamin D. Every part of the human body tells a story of adaptation. Where are we headed? The future of human evolution. Are humans still evolving? Some scientists believe modern medicine and technology have slowed down natural selection. Others believe we are changing faster than ever. With modern science, we can now modify genes, replace body parts, and even create artificial intelligence. Could future humans be part machine? And what if we live on other planets? Life on Mars could change our bodies. We might grow taller, develop new skin colors, or evolve to survive in different conditions. One thing is for sure. Evolution never stops. Just like Tiktaalik crawled out of the water, future humans might evolve into something new. And that was the story of human evolution. Not just a glimpse, but a journey through time from the very beginning to where we stand today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to The Nature's Diary for more amazing stories of our world. See you next time.